Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Tech This Week. My name is Nashpreet and let's get to weekly updates right away. Now, if this is your first time here, then please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon. Apart from Tech This Week, we also have reviews, unboxing, auto tech and much more. Some big global launches this week has been the launch of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, Tab S7 Plus, Buds Live, Watch 3 and Fold 2 at Galaxy Unpack 2020 event. The COVID-19 pandemic may have thrown a wrench into things and put major world affairs on hold, but it hasn't managed to discourage the spirits of tech enthusiasts. A part of the Samsung ecosystem, the new S Pen will come with both the new Galaxy Note 20 series and the Galaxy Tab S7 series. Note 20 comes with a 6.7-inch display, while Note 20 Ultra comes with a 6.9-inch display. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is priced at around 78,000 rupees, while the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is available for around a lakh 5,000 rupees. Next up, we have the Galaxy Buds Life, first open type buds in the Galaxy series. The buds come with active noise cancellation and cuts low band background noise by up to 97%. With three microphones and a voice pickup unit, the audio quality on Buds Live looks to be superior, but we will hold the verdict on that. Galaxy Watch 3 uses red LED and infrared rays to estimate the amount of oxygen in your bloodstream. Now it automatically detects hard falls with its enhanced accelerometer, sending an SOS to your emergency contact with your location. Up next, Google unveils affordable Pixel 4a with a punch hole display and a 12 MP rear camera. It will go on sale in India in October. For starters, Pixel 4a comes with a 5.8 inch OLED display and has a matte finish that feels secure and comfortable in your hand. The Pixel 4a should be 3000 rupees cheaper than its closest competitors, iPhone SE 2020 and Galaxy A51. And these days, any amount of money that can be saved is crucial, right? It's available in single jet black color option and all set to go on sale in India on Flipkart. Hang on for prices. Redmi 9 Prime with 5020 mAh battery, MediaTek Helio G80 SoC is now launched in India. Redmi 9 Prime has been unveiled as Xiaomi's latest affordable smartphone. The phone features a water drop style notch display and is powered by MediaTek Helio G80 SoC. It comes with a quad rear camera setup that includes an ultra wide angle shooter. It's been priced at around 10,000 rupees for the 64 GB storage variant, while the 128 GB storage option carries a price tag of around 12,000 rupees. Other key highlights of the Redmi 9 Prime include a rear mounted fingerprint sensor. 18 watt fast charging support and an infrared blaster. Honor's first laptop, Honor MagicBook 15, makes its debut with three breakthrough India first innovations. There's a pop up webcam to ensure enhanced privacy. It is discreetly hidden underneath the camera button on the keyboard. Users would just need to press the camera button for the camera to pop up. That's cool, isn't it? The two in one power button doubles up as a fingerprint scanner. It therefore helps in password-free unlocking, making it a quick and more secure way of logging in. This feature can make attempts to hack using your laptop impossible. The third innovation is the introduction of the 65 watts Type-C compact multi-device fast charging cable. This can be used for charging other devices as well. Indian smartphone market set to recover by 40% in second half. WhatsApp to roll out a Mute Forever option for groups soon. Nokia to set up robotics lab at Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. OnePlus Hydrogen OS 11 to launch on August 10th. Oxygen OS 11 likely to follow suit. Now, Zoom adds five new features to make you look good and have fun during meetings. New features include filters, lighting, reactions, noise cancellation and more control on presentations. These new features bringing the casual and fun elements to resemble the office culture of a virtual meeting, making working from home less challenging. Google Pixel 5 officially announced, set for October launch this year. Netflix rolls out playback speed feature to Aneroid users. This feature will be first rolled out on Aneroid and will be completed in the next few weeks. 
playback speed can be slowed down to 0.5 times or 0.75 times or sped up to 1.25 times or 1.5 times the original speed. Netflix will test this feature on iOS and web browsers soon. Geo revises rupees 501 ISD recharge option. Google Assistant getting family bell alarms and enhanced broadcast features. Google Assistant is getting a host of a new and useful feature that aims to make life of students and their families easier during these uncertain times. These new features include Google Family Bell that is a new alarm-like feature to help families manage school from home. Bell reminders can announce when it's time for activities such as online classes, breaks, reading time, bedtime and more. This can be set up on your mobile device with Google Assistant or Google Home app. You will have to still wait for this in India to start. And that's it for the day. I will see you guys next week with all the latest and updated news from the tech world. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Until then, take care, stay safe, ladies.